welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kelsey and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. So for today's video, as you probably could already tell from the title down below, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my bag 2021 edition. I'm super excited to be doing this video because this is the first time I'm going to be filming a what's in my bag on this channel. So for me personally, I'm the type of person that like to carry smaller bags because a, I don't like to carry a whole lot of stuff with me, and B, I just find that small bags are just super cute. So, with that being said, if you guys do want to see the type of things that I carry in my bag, please continue watching. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so for my bag, it is this little cutie patootie right here. I really hope you guys can see it because the lighting looks super bright, but I hope it's not that bright. But anyways, this is the bag that I carry here. I'll also do some close-ups of it so you can see it. It is a coach bag and the reason why I love it so much is A, because it's white and I have a huge obsession with white bags. I have this one white bag that I wear from Shein all the time like all the time. So I really love white bags and then B, I also love that it comes with like the gold detailings. I think that's really cute. It's small and then it also comes with a strap which I think is really really nice as well. And the nice thing about it is that the strap detaches so if I just wanted to carry the bag as like a little handbag, I can but then if I also want to strap it and wear it as like a crossbody or like a shoulder bag I can as well so it's very versatile so I really really love it so with the bag it comes with a zipper here it also comes with a zipper here and then it comes with a little pocket in the back but personally I don't use that pocket in the back I feel like it's low-key kind of irrelevant not gonna lie but it's still there and it's still cute and then also on the side it has the little tag that says coach on it as well and I believe if you wanted to customize it you could but for me personally I don't customize my bags just in case I want to sell it so yeah alrighty so let's move into the inside of the bag so the first thing that I carry and always carry is some Advil I tend to get headaches often so I always carry this with me just in case I need to pop one in <laughs> and move on with my day. Okay, so. Moving on, the next thing that I carry with me is hand sanitizers. We are in a different time. We're living in a different time. So hand sanitizer is a must, must, must. I always carry this with me because anywhere you go, once you're done, squirt some of this into your hand and you're good to go. This is so important. Everyone should be carrying a hand sanitizer in their bag, especially with now COVID, the pandemic, all that stuff. Hand sanitizer should be a must. All right, moving on. The next thing is some lip gloss. So this here is from a brand that one of my friends created. It's called Pacific Line, and this is in the flavor Sweet Cherry. Always carry lip gloss with me because you never know when you need to gloss up those lips. You always gotta be prepared so I always carry this with me. So the next thing I carry with me is a Bluetooth remote. This is so important guys because it connects to my phone, it connects to any iOS or Android phone and it's just so convenient if you're out and about and you need to take some photos and you may not have help. You can always 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 just bring this with you. Click 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 and you're good to go. You don't need help from anyone so I feel like this is just always necessary to have with me. Also it's just super small so I can just plop it in my bag and it's not taking over a lot of space. You tell the life of a content creator, you're always prepared for anything. So <laughs> this is a must. All right, coming down to the last few things in this front pocket, the next thing is a mask. And I like to put my mask in a little Ziploc bag only because I find like just taking your mask off and shoving it in your bag is literally kind of defeating the purpose because you're touching a lot of stuff in your bag and sometimes you're not sanitizing so touching your mask, touching the stuff in your bag and your mask rubbing up against the stuff in your bag kind of defeats the purpose. So I always put it in a little Ziploc bag so that it's in its own space, it's separated from the other things but I can just keep it within my bag still. So. And then the last thing within this front pocket here is my AirPods. I just have the normal AirPods with the charging case. I know a lot of people talk about the Pro and how it's so amazing, but 
I like my regular AirPods unless I feel necessary to upgrade then I'll upgrade but for now like these work perfectly fine for me and I mainly just use it when I'm like going out or if I'm in a Zoom meeting so it's not like I'm using it every 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 second of the day so I don't think it's necessary for me to upgrade right now. Alrighty guys so that is everything in that front pocket here now we're going to move on to our back pocket. So I would say that the pocket sizes are pretty much the same. The, the back pocket is probably slightly bigger than the front pocket, but I feel like they're, they're pretty much the same to me, you know, like it's not a huge difference. So in the back pocket, the first thing that it has is like a little compartment on the top. So what I keep in there is a mirror. I always still like to carry a mirror because you never know, you might need to fix something on your face, you might need to check and make sure that your teeth are clean, like, you never know what you're going to need a mirror for. So I always just bring one, and this one's just like a double-sided mirror from Sephora. Which and then the next thing I always have in my bag is a pen. I feel like a pen is just super important to always have. You never know when you're going to need to sign something, write something, and I also personally prefer using my own pens than... For example, if you go to the bank or if you go somewhere and you need to sign something, I prefer to use my own pen than using the pen at that place. So I'm not super, super picky. Like if I don't have a pen and I have to use the one at the place, I'll use it. But I just like to always walk with a pen just in case. The next thing I have in my bag are my keys. So my keys are a little bit cluttered right now. They're not really that pretty. They're kind of all over the place. So I have my car key and then I also have my mom's car key on here. I also have a little Honda keychain on here as well because that's what type of car I have. I have my Fit for Less little pass. I have two hair store passes for the beauty supply stores and... I also have a dance pass for this dance class that I did in Toronto once. The next thing I have is a keychain from Guyana, which is just like the little Guyana slippers, which I think are super cute. And then I have my house keys on here and my mailbox keys. The next things I always carry in my bag is my cell phone. So I have the 10X Max. I know it's not the newest phone. Ray, Ray, Ray. I'm kind of living back in the day. Ray, Ray, Ray. I was debating if I should get the 12, but I feel like I might just wait until the 13 comes out or the 14 or whatever it is that they'll name it. If you see an unboxing video, then you'll know if I got it or not. <laughs> so this is just my phone. My case is from Kate Spade and I love Kate Spade cases. I just think they're so beautiful. Little tip guys, always buy your cases from like the outlets, the Kate Spade outlet, because they're far cheaper than you going into actual Kate Spades and buying them. All right guys, and the last couple things I have in my bag. So I always carry some extra hair elastics with me. You'll never know when you need to fix your hair, put your hair up. Someone may need a hair elastic, so I always just carry about two of them in my bag because you just never know and then the last thing I carry in my bag is my wallet so this here is a card holder from Kate Spade guys I love 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 card holders so so much they're my favorite thing ever I actually have a card holder that matches my bag so I have to transfer my cards over to this one but this is the one that I've been using it's pink it's cute it has one two three four five six seven card slots but I like shove my cards up in there I make it work I like it because it's small it's compact and it can fit into any bag which is a must for me so I really like it and that's what I carry all right guys so my bag is empty that is everything that I carry in my bag as I said earlier I just keep it nice and simple I don't carry a ton of stuff in my bag because I hate when my bag feels super heavy or crowded or messy so I just keep it nice and simple carry the necessities and that's about it so guys, that is everything that's in my bag. I hope you liked this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video. All the links to my social medias are listed down below. So definitely, definitely, definitely check me out on there. I love you guys so, so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad